Hi, welcome to my house in Rapid City, um, South Dakota. My name is Mike Beck. Um, I have seven adopted children, all of whom are uh, Cheyenne River Lakota, and I've been married to my wife Emily for 25 years. In the Lakota culture, one of the words is Madakue Oyasin, which means we are all one family. In the National Guard, in my unit, it's a very small unit, there's about 20 people in our unit, and it is very much like a family. And so it's very easy to have that feel of family and unit, you know, being working both ways between the military and my family. I remember a lot of camp counselors and learning about the seven military values and just um, interacting with other people who kind of had the same dreams as I did, really. I feel like I've gotten a lot of support from my family and the military, and I just know a lot of people, like, I've put some of my camp counselors down for job references before, and I've gotten a lot of support from different people in the Guard, and I can just walk into kind of my parents' work and feel at home. Like, it does feel more like a family. Military camps definitely gave me, like, more courage, like, Normally, I wouldn't go to a camp filled with other strangers that I did not know, but that going there just gave me courage to like talk to people. So I've always been involved with the Lakota culture, even before I got the position with the guard. Um, we knew long ago that Mike and I were going to adopt from the reservation system. We had some friends that were adopting from Haiti, and we decided to try and help out at home. We became foster parents and have served um, 26 different children. I am definitely happy that they keep us connected to the Lakota heritage because it's dying out and I want that to come stronger. Like being a Lakota is so unique and I love the heritage and like all the stories and stuff like that. Like the dances, that just makes me feel so proud of who we were. And I want more of that to come back into our everyday life.